Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome to a brand new vlog. You might realize I'm not in my usual surroundings. In fact, I am very much out of my usual comfort zone. I am in Shoreditch, East London, which is an area that I'm definitely not cool enough for, but I have an overnight stay tonight with Vita Liberata. We are here at the Mondrian Hotel in Shoreditch, and I have got serious deja vu right now. I am pretty sure that I've stayed in this hotel before with Elizabeth Arden many years ago, literally like five or six years ago, um, but it wasn't a Mondrian then, it was definitely something else. But you find that happens quite a lot, especially in London, a hotel chain will, maybe they'll finish their like tenancy in a building and then another hotel will take it over and do like minor tweaks, but they're quite minor. So I'm having major deja vu right now. I know I've been in the bar hotel of bar area of this hotel before. I recognize the kind of balcony setup of the rooms. Um, but yeah, very excited to be here with Vita Liberata. If I look like I've got barely any makeup on, I did my makeup at about five o'clock this morning before getting an early train into London. I've had a morning full of meetings and I'm actually not gonna redo my makeup because I am trying to use this month's class pass credits. So I booked myself in for a bar core class really nearby here. I thought, when do I ever have spare time in Shoreditch, got my overnight bag with me and I did pack my workout gear. So that is where I'm heading in a second. I've got about half an hour. So I'll um, I'll show you my beautiful room. Lots of treats in the room here. It feels very luxurious that I'm here by myself. There's a few other bloggers here who I've not managed to catch up with yet. But we've got this beautiful bouquet of blooms. Look at this. Some of my favorites in here. We've got some roses. Now I want to say that's Larkspur but I might have got that completely wrong. Some beautiful cornflower, really gorgeous bouquet. That's from Grace and Thorn. A lovely gentleman just delivered a bottle of Verve Clicquot. <laughs> what a treat. Got a fruit platter here from Ghana and Grace, some chocolates, and then over in this lovely little area, the new collection from Vita Liberata. So Vita have rebranded this really lovely summery beachy branding and here are some of the most iconic products. So this is the untinted heavenly tanning elixir. Vita is my go-to when it comes to just getting a really beautiful natural glowing tan. Body blur. This is perfect if, say, you just like whip on a skirt or, you know, you have your arms bare and you just want something that's really, it's kind of like a filter, like an airbrush filter for your skin. Kind of a bit like makeup, um, just gives you the most perfect looking skin. Um, and then we've got the tinted tanning loose. Oops, I'm going to apply some of that before bed tonight. The gradual tanning lotion, which I literally apply after every shower just to maintain my tan. The most amazing mitt. We've even got some lovely silk little hair bubbles here. And what's this? Beauty Bluff the face. So that is a really great place to start with your makeup. I'll be doing my makeup this evening using this. I have got a rather lovely, I don't know how we get out there. Mm -hmm. Really incredible balcony space. It's not often that you get so much outside space, especially in London, especially in short itch. Ooh. How do I get out? Okay, I have no idea how to open that, but it looks beautiful. We've got some lovely terracotta pots out there. <laughs> I'll have to find a way of getting out there to have my coffee out there in the morning. And because I'm heading to the bar class, I'm gonna not be rushed, but I'm not gonna have a huge amount of time to do my makeup when I get back. So I've got everything out ready. I've brought my Beauty Effect box with me, um, and this is actually a new one, and is it not? Just the most beautiful makeup box you have ever seen. So you might remember at Christmas I was showing you guys my original one, which is the pink one. It's almost like a champagne rose gold with the pink details. Just absolutely beautiful. Let me show you why this is so fabulous if you didn't catch my um, chatting about this at Christmas. So I'll spare you my reflection at the moment. Um, I do use this at home as well. It means that I can just do my makeup anywhere in the house with perfect lighting because you can actually, so this is a warm light, you can change the color of the lighting in here, 
beautiful big mirror absolutely perfect for doing your makeup in what i sometimes do as well when i'm filming my instagram stories is i'll prop my phone up here and it just gives me really good like selfie lighting when i'm doing my instagram stories so you can change the brightness of the light you can change the temperature of it um so you can get like a daylight you can get an evening glow depending on how you want the light to be when you're doing your makeup i'll switch it off for now just so that you can see a little bit more clearly um, and then in here, so this obviously protects the mirror, and these are all wipeable, which is amazing. So if you do drop your mascara brush or something, you can just wipe the box clean, which is amazing. There we go. If you're an organisational lover like I am, this will be very pleasing to you. And I've tried to be quite selective. I don't like having too many things with me when I'm out and about. I just like to bring my essentials. So I've got all of my makeup just nicely organised in here, from my primer to my foundation, um, bronzer. I bought this hourglass palette with me so I've actually not used this in a little while and it's got some absolutely gorgeous shades in there um, my by Terry palette my powder of course yeah it seems quite empty at the moment but I just didn't feel the need to fill it up just for the sake of it mascara brow gel um, my eyebrow pencil and lip liner and then over here I just love how organized you're able to be with this these brushes are actually by Beautifect which is the make of this box they're vegan brushes really beautiful quality it's kind of like a matte champagne gold finish and you can buy the collection which is basically all the makeup brushes that I need I've got some of the bigger ones down here as well so I use this one for my bronzer um, and this one's a little bit more of like a face shaper. I'll be doing my makeup with all of these later on. And then I've just popped the ones that I use the most in here. It also comes with this little mirror cleaning cloth. So if you get any little fingerprints on here, you can just wipe it clean. But yeah, the whole box is wiped clean just in case anything does spill. So if you took it on a flight and something exploded, you haven't ruined your entire makeup bag. If you do stay in hotels or if you're going to a friend's house and you're not too sure what the makeup lighting situation is going to be like, this will save you. Or if like me doing your makeup super early in the morning and it's not quite daylight yet, I was also really tempted to get this out on the train and start doing my makeup in perfect lighting on the train, but it was just a little bit too busy and I was a bit embarrassed. But yeah, this is just fabulous. Really, really handy and I'll be doing my makeup with all my bits that are in there later. Oh, and it just charges up. It's actually the same charger as my laptop, which is very handy. And then I've bought all of my, oh my gosh, I hope I've remembered my sponge. Hopefully it's in here. Beauty Fact, um, as well as doing these travel cases, their brushes are amazing, but what is literally the best of all the sponges I've tried is the Beauty Fact makeup sponge. This is better than any iconic beauty sponge that you can think of. I love the colour of it, um, but it's literally the best makeup sponge. Whether it's wet or dry, absolutely love this. So it's great for using with my foundation. So this is their vanity bag, really, really good for when you're traveling. I like the fact that it's clear, so even if it's packed to the brim with all of your products, you can really clearly see what's inside. So I've just got my micellar water, um, I've got a little mini of the By Terry Balm de Rose by Face Makeup Remover, my perfume hair clips, um, silk scrunchie, my Aurelia Probiotic Lip Balm, Clay de Po moisturizer, and then up in here, what you could do is put your toothbrush in here or you know, things you want to keep separately. But what I find really useful is when I've used my face halos, I put them alone up in this section here because they're sometimes a little bit damp by the time I need to take them home. So this just means that not everything in my little vanity pouch gets damp, which is really, really helpful. So yes, that is my makeup and skincare that I've bought with me that I will be getting ready with later on today. Hello darlings, so I can't think, oh, suddenly got a chill. I can't think of anything worse than going and doing an exercise class with day old London <laughs> makeup on my skin. So I've just done a very, very quick cleanse and I'm going to apply some of this, which is the Vita Liberata Tanning Drops. They are the anti-aging tanning um, serum drops. I am gonna do a whole pipette. And I wouldn't normally apply makeup <clears throat> straight on top of these. I'd actually normally apply them at night. Um, I'm probably not gonna sweat, she says now, too much in the bar class. Um, so hopefully this will be just gradually tanning my face while I'm in the class. And I'll have a nice soft glow by the time it comes to getting ready for dinner later tonight. Oh, they smell so good. I literally smell like holiday. 
just don't forget to wash your hands afterwards. from my bar call class, which was a really good, quite intense uh, 45 minute class. I'm really enjoying doing different exercises that work different parts of my body that I don't normally do at home, like my spin classes, even, even my bar classes on the Vaha. You know, you just kind of muscle memory, get used to doing the same things. So that was really nice to do something different. Um, and I, f I do feel like I've had a really good workout. I probably could have done with a shower. <laughs> But I have not got time for that. I've got to be downstairs for the Vita Librata drinks and dinner in about 10 minutes. So I've just quickly done my makeup and I found this very comfortable little corner. Luckily, perfectly lit, thanks to my fabulous Beauty Effect box. I had it, I always like to do my makeup in the worst light possible, AKA the like brightest, coldest lighting. So I always think that that's the least flattering. So if you can, not that this is ever really unflattering, but if you can make your makeup look good in that lighting, then I mean, no dinner or bar place is gonna have that bad a lighting. But if you do your makeup in that lighting, then you're always gonna look good. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna get any orange lines. You're not gonna get any, you're not gonna miss any areas. The only thing is I often, especially when I start with a completely fresh makeup face, I can see all of my little black heads and I just wanna sit here and squeeze them, which is very satisfying, but I have not got time for that today. So I started off with the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur for the face, um, which is just a really nice kind of complexion enhancer, just gives you that glow from underneath your makeup. So it just gives you a really lovely, healthy look. I applied my usual Charlotte Tilbury foundation with the Beauty Effect sponge. Um, and what I actually do is I keep this sponge in my handbag because it's really nice throughout the evening to just kind of blot in your makeup, especially if like me, you have got fine lines around your eyes. It's nice to just smudge out your makeup in case it sets in your fine lines. Something else that's really good about using um, a mirror with the lighting is that you can see if you're getting shiny. Like if I was doing my makeup in this hotel room without the beauty effect mirror, I probably would not have ended up putting on anywhere near anywhere near enough powder and would it would have ended up super shiny <laughs> by the time the evening is done. I'm actually gonna take a couple of Instagram stories now um, to talk about the beauty blur for the face for Vita Liberata. So what I'm gonna do is prop my phone up in between these two lights on the mirror. I just prop my phone up. I just prop my phone up there to do my stories. And it's literally like you have a ring light behind you, so perfect selfie lighting. So I'm gonna crack on with those, um, get dressed, and then head down for some drinks. Okay, finally dressed and ready to go. I've just popped on a more corally lipstick. I felt that the lipstick I was wearing earlier was a little bit too dark. And this one here is from Vive, Jamie Genevieve's brand, and it is the shade Pinch. And it's just the most beautiful, flattering, Looks kind of more pinky here, um, but it's actually a really lovely corally shade. And especially now that I've got a bit of a glow to my skin, thanks to the Vita Liberata Tanning Serum and um, the Beauty Blur that I applied on the base of my makeup, I think I just I just feel very summery. Especially as I'm wearing this sleeper dress, I definitely wanted to feel like it's warmer <laughs> outside than it actually is. Um, I'm just doing a little half up and half down because I hate having my hair in my face when I'm eating. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh, jewellery. I have some lovely new pieces here from Missima. This is their new pearl collection, so beautiful. So I've actually got a matching necklace and these like twisted, kind of looks like a musical note, earrings. So I'm gonna pop those on and then I'm ready to go. Hello my darlings, 
Friends, please excuse the overhead lighting and the phone footage, but I'm here at Michael Van Clark this morning and I'm going to be getting a full blonde spring hair makeover. To be honest, the colour still looks really good because Jodie does such a great job here. There's never like, there's never a harsh line where you can see that the colour needs doing, but just over the last couple of weeks I felt that it has looked a little bit darker. So I'm going to be in the chair probably for a few hours today if I don't mind. It's such a lovely salon here as I always say, um, but I thought I'd just show you a little before so you can see my roots. I'll probably try and show you in the daylight upstairs. Roots are just quite dark um, and I'm going to ask Jodie what she puts in. I think it's actually just really fine bleach highlights and it's really just kind of around the parting areas that it's looking a little bit darker. Um, but I've got my laptop with me so I'm probably going to end up doing <laughs> quite a bit of work while I'm here in the chair. So this is my before. This lighting is a little bit better, you can see it's just a bit dark on the roots. <laughs> Hello my darlings, it's a few hours later and I actually can't quite believe how ridiculous I look and yes, I did get the train home from Marlebone Station looking like, um, I mean I don't even know what I look like, totally crazy. The reason for the strange hairdo is because um, I want my hair to look good tomorrow, which is a day that we've got Kat over to do a shoot, so uh, yes, essentially it's all pin curled. When I was in the salon, obviously when it was getting blow dried, I could see the colour and it looks fabulous. As always, Jody has done the most amazing job. And then I had my blow dry as usual with Lam Fan. I just love how at Michael Van Clark, you just, you get the same people and you become really friendly with them and they get to know your hair. So Jody and Lam Fan are my dream team. Um, so yeah, these curls will look great in the morning. Um, back home now and there are, sorry I know you probably can't take me seriously, I can't take me seriously either, um, but yeah there are quite a few very exciting changes um, that have happened over the last 24 hours since I've been in London. Lots of new fabrics in the house, one of which is just here, a new curtain so that um, this area, as you guys might know, is our like post area. I don't actually know how messy it is at the moment, let's see. Ugh. Not too bad. I mean, that's actually not too bad, but it's great that we now have this. Obviously, we're still waiting on all the tie backs, um, but this means that we'll be able to hide all the monstrosity <laughs> that lies behind there. But more excitingly, we also have the pergola that has been, I don't know where, where this bit of hair has even come from. I think it's from this loop here. Um, yes, the pergola arrived today down in the kitchen garden. Charlie did send me a video during daylight hours, but of course I want to go and see it in real life. And it's becoming a bit of a running theme that we go and check out the kitchen garden by torchlight. So let's go and take a look. What are we calling this then? Like Jason Charlie or gardening after <laughs> gardening, gardening dark, by Charlie candlelight, Charlie. garden tours by candlelight. You know, this must be what it's like living in Iceland in the winter. Yeah. No, it's not this dark all the time. <laughs> but it's dark all day, isn't it? Like, yeah. So I've got you a couple of rhubarb plants down here. Look. So I think oh. they have to stay in here probably for a while, right? This really does look like we're growing a marijuana farm. Yeah. <laughs> you showing me the plants by candlelight. So, so, but they'll be, they'll be nice, won't they? Have you been oh. buying more rosemary? Darling, we don't need any more rosemary. That's not rosemary. Oh, that is rosemary. Yeah. yeah Why have you bought that? Bed. Don't need any more rosemary. Yeah, we need rosemary in the herb bed. <laughs> and then um, I've got some... Uh, Different mints? Yeah, but that's mint. That's what we need to do some research on that. So I don't know whether if that grows like mint, then we don't want to put it in the bed. Oh, definitely not. But if it grows like basil, we do. So we need All to right. put that one out. And then I've got some fennel and some chamomile. Oh, lovely. That's the thing. Because we've got a big herb bed, mm -hmm. we can actually get a lot of herbs like that that we don't have in the before. Yeah, so like ones true. Like, um, but you don't want it to be really bitty. No, no, no. no. It, it, they'll develop. Mm -hmm. I think, basically, we need to work out the design. Of, but I have decided, and uh, we need to agree it, but I think the herb bed should be the one nearest on the right. No. Because I think, well the reason being, you've got to remember, herbs are evergreen, and also they smell amazing. So first of all, you step into the I've never garden. walked by a herb bed and smelt it, ever. You need your nostrils sorting, mate. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to agree to that, it's got to be in the back row. 
Because. Because what? Because I don't like how her beds look. Like, they get oh, messy. No, you're kidding, right? No. Far, they look far more structured and pretty than... Um, no, sorry. I mean, most couples argue about, like, people going out late or drinking. We argue about... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm afraid I'm not budging on that one. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It looks amazing. <gasps> there it is. My pergola. Our pergola. Oh, my goodness. That is so surreal. Literally, do you remember we that first went to Nicholson's year. in May 2020? Do you know the story? I think there's a nine month lead time on these. So wow. we've actually dismantled the one from Nicholson's. Oh my gosh. One. So it's kind of sad in a way because when we go back to Nicholson's, <laughs> it won't be there anymore. <laughs> no, it's in our garden. But in a way, I love that because it's got all the niche in on it. It's just I so amazing. Like, do you remember though when we went there literally two yeah. years ago? We saw it. I said that in the stories today. Like, yeah. it's the first thing we saw there, and this is before we even knew about their garden design teams. Yeah. We just thought they were a garden centre. Yeah. <clears throat> and we saw it and loved it. And now we've got it in our the garden. One big decision we need to make. Mm. Oh, it's just so beautiful. The one big decision we need to make. I do think we want a combination of climbing roses and jasmine. Right. Right. But we need to decide, do we do jasmine, jasmine, and then roses, roses, or diagonals? Diagonally, I'd say. I think so as well. I, in my design, I did roses on the top right and bottom left. Yeah, so we'll have, a, it'll be a climb on each side, so... Can you walk down? Yeah, so... And then the other dis debate, but I think this is pretty obvious, is we've bought two of each climber. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same climber on each, so... Two, the two same and the two same mm -hmm. rather than one of each on each. Right. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is so exciting. I assume if you buy one of these and get one made and you're on the wait list for it, mm. I assume it wouldn't have all this lovely pattern on it. Because that's been in the yard probably for... Yeah, so it's really all, almost already aged. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe that I finally have columns. I've just always had an obsession with columns <laughs> and pergolas, and now we've got one. I think it's just going to be Gosh, this is so magical. Imagine how fabulous this is going to look when it's got stuff growing up it. To be honest, this sounds mental, but I was just as excited about the fact, look at how much tidier that looks. What, the bed? No, the fence. Oh, the kitchen and wire. Then, and then the Chicken wire. So that gives you an idea of how high the path will come up. So it's coming up quite a bit. Do you see what I mean? If you look oh the wow, is, oh, that's oh, high. Joe, so look at where the black is on the posts. The path's coming up to that. To where? Oh wow. Yeah. Gosh, that is high. So it gives you an idea of how. Well, it also means. Yes, these are rays, but some I know a few people message on Instagram saying, "Oh, it's quite a big step up." Well, it won't be once the path's mm. up to here. When are they doing the paths? Well, if you look behind you, that's all the bricks. So. What? I oh. suspect they're going to make a start on that probably tomorrow. Gosh, did you hear that owl? Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see it in daylight. It's absolutely massive, but gosh, this feels like a real moment. We finally have a pergola and I finally have my columns. Yay. <laughs> I will bring you guys out here in the morning, but I just couldn't wait to see it in real life. And then we have another surprise in, <laughs> sounds a bit weird, in our bedroom oh, yeah. that I've not seen. Let's go and check it out. Well, good morning, my darlings. I love how in this vlog, you just never know what hairstyle I'm gonna turn up in next. Um, this, is, this is actually not my latest fashion accessory. I actually slept in this silk kind of head cover last night. Um, in a bid to firstly be able to actually get to sleep because obviously I had those massive curls in, but also to try to preserve the curls. I think that's literally what this is for. Um, if people go and get beautiful blow dries or if you've got the kind of hair that is very susceptible to friction and I guess the same kind of benefits as a silk pillowcase in that it stops the friction on your hair. It's from a brand called Silken, like S-I-L-K-N, and I've had it in my underwear drawer actually for, for a long time and I've never felt the need to use it but last night I thought I would give it a try um, so I am going to <laughs> brush through the curls in a second and hope that it was worth coming home looking like um, I don't know <laughs> Johnny Bravo springs to mind 
But um, yeah, I was in a really weird mood yesterday. I think I didn't sleep very well at the Mondrian. I don't know why, because it was a really comfy bed, um, I didn't hear any traffic noise, or so I thought. I am a very heavy sleeper, but obviously living out here, maybe I've just got used to no noise at all at night. Um, so maybe that was why I didn't sleep very well, but I woke up, I set my alarm for 7, which for me is actually quite late, normally I'm like out of bed before 6 in the mornings, um, and I did not want to get out of bed, so I think that just, I don't know, sometimes when you're just in a different surrounding and you don't have your usual routines, didn't sleep that well, I had a couple of meetings in the morning, um, which I didn't vlog, um, and then went to the Nobody's Child pop-up store. We say pop-up, it's been there for about a year and I think it's staying there for a little while longer. They've got the most gorgeous dresses in there, um, so I had a little look around there. They've got some gorgeous pieces, um, and then I had another meeting in Knightsbridge, and then popped into the Bulgari Hotel and went to the Bulgari Autumn Winter 2022 press day. They had some incredible bags there, oh my goodness, if I took any video clips, there's a particular one that's like this big, with um, the snake chain, like stiff, sturdy handle, oh my gosh. If there's a gap in my bag collection, I would say it is within the evening bag space, and that would be perfect, just so stunning, um, so definitely one that is on my wish list. And then, yeah, and then as you saw, I just went to the hairdresser, Michael Van Clark, and switched off for... Well, actually I was only there for four hours, which for me, getting my hair coloured is, um, it's pretty good. Four hours is pretty good. So I felt like my vlogging yesterday was just all over the place. I, there was no, like, rhyme or reason to when or why I picked up the camera. And I've somehow got myself really close to the bone when it comes to my upload days. In fact, oh my gosh, it's Thursday right now, which means you're going to be seeing this vlog tonight. Wow, okay. <laughs> How have I managed to get it so close? I mean, you've probably only seen like seven minutes of vlog and normally my vlogs are like an hour. So this one's gonna be a bit shorter than usual because I'm gonna have to start editing this at like three o'clock today. And I'm actually shooting all day today. She says optimistically, the weather forecast has been teasing me. It's been like pure rain today, and then yesterday I checked it was pure sunshine. Now it's blue skies and raining. So we've got some stuff to shoot today, which we have to shoot outside. Um, and we need sunshine for, so I'm praying, 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 praying that it's gonna stay nice. So Kat is coming down from London and she's gonna be here in two hours. I've got loads of clothes to unbox and steam um, to hopefully shoot and I need to prepare a picnic hamper for something that we're shooting today and I've also got an Ocado order arriving at 9 so it's going to be one of those mornings where everything goes on at the same time. Our electrician is also arriving at 9 um, to do some rewiring in the entrance hall. Ooh, I have to show you the curtains in our bedroom. They look amazing. Again, we don't have the tie backs. I don't know where we've ordered these tie backs from but they're all on like a six, <laughs> six month lead time or something. Um, and speaking of lead times, oh my goodness. <laughs> so I think you guys figured out, the very observant of you, that I did actually place an order for a car way back in August last year. And actually I placed that order before Charlie and I got the Black Defender. So we were still driving the Mazda when I placed this car order for literally my dream car. And this car that we ordered in August was meant to be ready for my 30th birthday, which was on the 24th of November 2021. Um, and yeah, clearly I'm not <laughs> driving this dream car right now. Um, there were all kinds of delays because of microchips and they said, don't worry, Josie, you'll have your car by February. So I was like, hallelujah, I can wait till February, that's no problem. And then February came and I emailed them really excitedly like, oh, just checking what day I can come and pick up my car. And they were like, oh, sorry, Josie, no, it's going to be um, early April now. So I was like, oh, that's kind of annoying, but you know, bigger problems in the world, never mind. So Charlie, um, I got Charlie involved because he's a little bit better at keeping on top of these things. And uh, we've been emailing them last, the last few weeks and um, the excuses that are coming out are just like, 
<laughs> oh, it's almost becoming a comedy now. So then they said that the car would be in manufacture, or like finishing manufacture in early April, and I'd have it by end of April at the latest. And now I'm being told June. <laughs> so it's looking like this car that we ordered in August last year. Do you know what? I just would not recommend buying a new car. I just wouldn't. This experience has been painful. And um, we've got friends that have ordered cars from the same um, car brand as well. And they were told August. And I feel like they're going to probably not get it this year at this point because it's just mad. Um, I'm just really glad that we got the Defender from the forecourt. So we actually, you might have seen the vlog, <laughs> our new car shop, car shopping or something it was called. I'm really glad. It felt like, a, it felt like an impulse at the time, even though Charlie had done so much research and decided that that was a car for us. I'm really glad that we did end up getting that car, even though I wasn't sold on like the matte wrap on it. I wasn't sold on the fact that it wasn't the exact like internal features that we really wanted. I was so in the mindset of, oh, we need to like design this car and just wait a little bit longer and order our perfect car. But Charlie was like, no, Josie, like we could be waiting months and months if we do that. So I'm so glad that I listened to him and that we did end up literally taking the one that was, I think it had been like a test drive vehicle. It had done like 50 miles or something um, when we took it home. So yeah, <laughs> it feels like such a silly thing to complain about and I'm not complaining, um, but just letting you know that was a little bit of a frustration when I came home yesterday and asked Charlie for an update on the car um, and he said, yeah, another couple of months. It'll be worth the wait. It's just one of those things that, you know, it's meant to be a really exciting luxury purchase and just these little delays are taking the icing off the cake. Anyway, I feel really silly talking to you um, <laughs> with my hair all up like this. So I have no idea what to expect. Um, and I'm not one of these people that's hair just like bounces into perfect place. So we shall see. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it might have just flattened in all the wrong places. Oh no. I do not have time to do my hair again before Kat gets here either. Let's hope it's rescuable. At least it's clean. My granny always insisted I eat my carrots. You don't see a rabbit wearing glasses, she said. Well, maybe I should have listened, I don't know. Are you overwhelmed by a seemingly endless list of gardening jobs? Don't feel like that. Well, it's safe to say we have got a lot of volume, that is for sure. Um, the curls, I mean, my ha my hair just never really does <laughs> what I want it to do. We've got a lot of um, floof going on in this section and they're not necessarily curls, it's just kind of shaped floof. So I like how this looks. We've got a nice bit of dramatic curl there and if I come ooh, down a little bit lower, you can see that we have got some really nice volume on the top here, which I definitely want to keep a hold of. <gasps> I just look like a cartoon character. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is use uh, some tongs. Um, or should I use my air wrap? Now I'm gonna use these to add some more formed curls. Why are you raining? Stop raining. Um, put some more. <laughs> How can someone's hair be so crazy? I literally am more faster. Do you know what? I'm just gonna let it like sit for a little while and I'm gonna show you um, some of the new dresses because I need to try on, ex just excuse, excuse the hair. I think it, my hair just sometimes needs to like relax a little bit. So we'll let it relax and I'll see what it's gonna do. Um, yeah, so I'll show you a couple of the new dresses, some of which I will be shooting with Kat today. Uh, so if I spin you around. Okay, how's that lighting? So this is the first one and 
I actually think this dress needs big hair because it's quite voluminous on the shoulders. You've got this, it's almost like a bib detail at the front here or a kind of pinny style detail on the front here. Um, quite like Victorian in its style. You've got this lovely waistband cinching you in here and the fabric is just really gorgeous, really detailed. You've got this beautiful kind of um, almost like polka dot pom pom detail on the sides. You can see how gorgeous the fabric is there with this beautiful blue um, floral pattern. So you get cinched in really nicely around the waist. This is a high street dress as well. I will leave this linked down below. Oh, I need to tuck my little tail in. And this will look really nice with some neutral accessories. This is the most gorgeous bag. I'm actually shooting some bits for my blog today. This is a lovely bag from Myrta, or Myrta, if I try and say it properly in an Italian way. And I've mentioned Myrta many times before. It's a really lovely collection of, I believe it's all Italian, artisan creators and Merta select these artisan creators and kind of pull them all together and give them the power of numbers. So by working together they can provide them with help when it comes to marketing and distribution so that these smaller artisan makers can reach a wider audience. So as a customer you get to see all these amazing artisan um, craft crafts people craftsmen and their products you get really beautiful quality products that you don't see all over um, you know the usual websites and it's great for discovery and great for supporting these craftsmen so this is um, my latest addition to my collection from Mirta you've got this beautiful I believe this is bamboo strap and then the most gorgeous the quality on this I mean the stitching detail it's such a lovely size bag as well um, so the actual craftsman of this is called Pelateria Artigiana Viviana, <laughs> according to this. Really good size as well, so I can most definitely fit my phone, my vlogging camera, and as you can see it has got these removable um, shoulder straps. I would probably 99% of the time hold this as a little handheld bag, I think that looks lovely, but if you wanted to you could of course wear it crossbody. Which is nice if you've got one of those days when you want to be out and about holding things. Okay, up next is this really beautiful dress. And I know I don't need any more spring dresses at this point. But as I've said a million times, I literally wear spring dresses like this every day. I love a dress over a two-piece because you don't really need to think about anything as soon as you pop the dress on that's your outfit complete and I just feel more feminine more put together and yet they're super comfortable as well so this is from a brand that I have been following on Instagram for quite some time and the brand is called by Malina I think actually I first discovered it via them doing like sponsored Instagram stories so they targeted me very well indeed um, and I've got a few dresses to to share with you from this brand all of which are beautifully floral so this one has almost like a minty uh, eucalyptus -y base color and then I think these are little pansies throughout which is really lovely it has got long sleeves but to be honest I'll probably mostly wear them pulled up a little bit it's got its own um, cinching in string around the waist but as usual I've popped my rattan belt on it's got a really lovely kind of flow and movement um, super comfortable perfect for an everyday dress pop it on with some flat sandals or some little wedges and you've got yourself a really lovely spring and summer daytime outfit if I'm hosting friends for a dinner party or a garden party then this is just perfection and the color is really fresh it feels very like crisp and I feel that this colour would suit everyone, <laughs> every skin tone, every style. So yeah, great start with by Malina. Okay, so here we have another absolutely stunning dress from by Malina. The shape of this, the fabric, the way that it fits, this could quite easily be a super high-end designer dress. It just fits in such a gorgeous way. The fabric is quite a thick linen. Um, not sure if you'll really be able to see from here, but you can see, you can literally see the detail on this. It looks so cute with my Prada basket bag. I wish I had had this dress um, when we went to Charleston because this is such 
a Charleston dress. Speaking of Charleston, I'm hoping that at some point today my order from Parterre, which is Julia, I was going to say Engel, a Barrelsheimer's brand, um, I'm hoping that's going to arrive today. I did place a Parterre order when I was in Charleston, thinking that it would arrive super quickly, um, but unfortunately it didn't, so that was a bit of a pain. However, I have ordered the most beautiful and very, very me dress from there. So hopefully that'll arrive today, because I'd love to shoot that with Kat, and I'll show you if it does. But I have plenty of floral dresses to shoot, even if it doesn't. So this one is very form-fitting on the bodice. It's cut absolutely perfectly for my silhouette. I love that it's long sleeve as well, and you've got this gorgeous um, pin tuck detail on the actual sleeves. Really beautiful floral pattern on here. Gorgeous light pink colour. This really would be the perfect spring or summer wedding guest dress outfit. And then it drops down to this beautiful A-line shape. And can you see the flowers just kind of grow up from the bottom of the dress here? Really, really stunning. And yet, because the fabric is that little bit thicker, I feel like it's the perfect dress for those days when maybe the temperatures are still a little bit cooler. <laughs> and then on the flip side, linen is so breathable that even if it was a super warm day, it's just perfect. It's perfect for both spring and summer occasions. Again, you've got the lovely waist belt to cinch you in. A little bit of balloon shaping to the sleeves. Gosh, it is just so elegant. Oh, and I have a feeling that this is called the Josephine dress. <laughs> I think. And now, finally for now until I do my unboxing, the final dress from by Melina. This one is a lot more of like a lightweight fabric. It's almost a chiffon-y fabric. Again, very floral inspired. This is definitely what drew me to the brand. And you've got this gorgeous ruffle detail, almost like a tiered ruffle detail. You've got that kind of slightly, um, slightly Victorian design detail on the bodice, again, with those ruffles. Um, and then this really lovely, it looks as though it's, sheer um but you have actually got almost like a built-in slip underneath this this really gorgeous panel detail hopefully you can see a little bit more closely here with this kind of lace cut out but the ruffle detail is so pretty i love that it's a cap sleeve so on more of a summer day this is going to be absolutely perfect it's giving me kind of self-portrait vibes it has got a zip to enable you to get in and out of this but then it has got buttons at the back so unless you're quite um skilled <laughs> when it comes to doing things up at the back you might need a little helping hand with this just something to bear in mind um but then because the fabric is so lightweight it's got the most beautiful movement to it to be honest depending on your work personally i would I'd be quite happy wearing this as like a work day dress. If I've got a day of meetings, then this would be absolutely perfect. Because of this waist area, it actually doesn't need a belt. So just with a simple accessory, this bag, I feel like it's gonna be such a go-to for me this summer. It feels like it just goes with everything. Um, I think I might actually detach the straps. Right, I'm gonna go downstairs and show you the curtains in the bedroom. Um, Kat's gonna be here in about an hour, so I need to prepare everything else shooting today so yes let's get going okay so a few updates for you here in the bedroom you can see the main one over here the curtains um that i'm not sure if you guys have seen since we had the light what do you call it um gosh words are escaping me this morning light covers lampshades <laughs> lampshades replaced um and charlie did persuade me that the dark colored furniture does suit this room better and now that we're getting the finishing touches like some pictures on the walls we're not sure if we're actually going to keep the pictures i think this one we are but some of them we're just keeping the frames and we're going to eventually find the right pictures to go in them but i think this little corner over here now looks really really nice I think potentially we might look out for a couple of small chairs, like kind of dressing room style chairs, and almost create a bit more of a seating area here, because we're probably gonna swap out this French chaise. We have come to the conclusion that French style furniture, as lovely as it is, it's just not quite um, right for this house. We prefer to keep it a little bit more traditional. So this is a really nice little corner now. So obviously we've got the super old fireplace. Um, and if you guys are fairly new to the channel, this might be a little fun fact for you. So a lot of our fireplaces have got these markings. And if you can see these like circular markings on here, and this is from in 
a time long ago they believed that these markings would stop the witches from entering your house <laughs> by the fireplaces. There's lots of fun historical details like that in this house. But over here we've got this new dark, well new, it's obviously a very old antique dark wood furniture. So I've got my pyjamas and things like that in there. And then we like to try and always have a lovely bouquet of flowers here. I've popped the blooms that I got yesterday at the Vita Liberata event. Lovely bouquet of blooms, managed to get them back from London in one piece. Um, I think they're from a company called Grace and Thorn. And they look absolutely gorgeous here. And then we've got one of the paintings on the wall. Diptyque candle, which we need to light actually. I'm going to see if they've got a bigger one with maybe a kind of like earthy green ceramic pot. And then I can take the pinky ones up to my dressing room. But that looks really lovely. I'm also always on the lookout for good vases. This is actually one of our gravy jugs, but it happens to be the perfect size for the blooms. But then, very excitingly, and the weather is teasing me so much today, just when I want it to be dark and gloomy outside so I can show you the curtains, it's lovely and bright and blue sky, but I'm hoping that that stays. If this weather stays, then we are in luck. <laughs> Keep your fingers and toes crossed for me, but a bit of a close-up detail here of the curtains. So they're this really beautiful earthy green, it's almost like a raw, well not raw, but quite an open weave linen. You might remember when we had all the samples on the kitchen table, this is how thick they are. They are so thick. So in the winter, when it's windy and cold outside, obviously these windows, they're single pane, because of how old the house is, they don't keep the cold out, unfortunately. The shutters do help and they obviously make it completely blacked out in here um, but having really nice super thick almost like insulated lined curtains is going to keep out any shred of daylight and also keep the warmth in and then we went for this lovely what would you call it like a a woven kind of detail trim on the edges and once again we're still waiting for the tie backs and then they've got a lovely contrast trim at the top there but I think this color just looks beautiful in here and it really finishes off the room. Again we've got the dark wood furniture over here and then the matching, kind of matching, not identical, we're still <laughs> looking for the perfect picture from here. Um, lampshade on the lamp to the lights in here. You might remember we used to have the glass ones but now we've got these little fabric caps. This is really useful for all our bed linen. You can, well it's really hard to show you in this lighting. Um, but yeah, they really do look perfect and the colour just makes it feel so much cosier in here. This room definitely needed more fabric. I did say to Charlie, it does make the room feel a tiny bit smaller, um, but as far as bedrooms go, this is pretty big, so the room can definitely take it. is my morning breakfast smoothie. Someone did ask in the maybe the last vlog or the one before what the purple drink was that I was drinking from the milk bottle in the car. Um, well, it was this. Well, it was actually Charlie's version of this. We both have slightly different ways of doing the morning smoothie. I think my way is better personally, but each to their own. Um, I've not put bee pollen on Charlie's because he doesn't love the bee pollen, but I absolutely love it. Um, and if you go to like, I don't know, wherever you'd get your morning smoothie and ask for bee pollen is normally like a pound extra for a sprinkling on the top, at least in London it can be. Um, whereas you can buy a pack like this from Ocado for like, I think maybe four to six pounds. So I definitely recommend doing that. Um, after my Reforma Pilates at Dalesford, I've started to order their acai berry smoothie for afterwards and it's delicious. So in my Ocado order that's coming tomorrow, I've got some frozen acai berry. So I'll be adding that to my morning smoothies moving forward. But it's always the same. I add a banana, um, some frozen berries, whatever I've got. So in here in my stasher bag, I've got, I think, black currants, blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I add a handful of oats. It's much better if you can soak them beforehand, but I completely forgot today. Hazelnut milk, um, bumped up with some water if it needs, um, liquefying a little bit more. What else? Ooh, 
my treat. I do love a big dollop of pip and nut almond butter. Um, and sometimes I'll put a spoon of chia seeds, again, soaked as better, and some um, vegan protein. Not that I'm vegan, I just think it's a little bit better. And normally I use either a company called Dose & Co, which I think is Kourtney Kardashian's, or she's like a face for them, um, or what is that brand called? Beauty Kitchen? Something like that. Or Beauty Chef, one of those two. I'll leave my blog post, I think I did a blog post, down below with my smoothie recipe. Um, so yeah, that is my morning smoothie. And because of the oats, it tends to keep me going until lunchtime. Okay, hello again darlings, it's a few hours later and I'm not gonna lie, today is turning out to be a very challenging shoot day because it is seriously blusterous outside. You might be able to tell from the um, <laughs> windswept nature of my hair, but yeah, it is absolutely mad outside. You can probably see the lighting changing by the second because the clouds are moving at 100 miles an hour. Most of my outfit photos look like this. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very challenging to say the least, but luckily the next thing that we need to shoot today is actually a kind of Easter um, unboxing, a reel that you'll be seeing on my Instagram and in fact it's for a really exciting giveaway so do make sure you're following my Instagram um, so that you can see when it goes live but luckily we can shoot it indoors so I think um, I'm just gonna brush through my hair and try and look semi-decent and we're gonna shoot it in the pink room. I've popped on this beautiful dress which is another lovely new one and this is from Misa, Misa Los Angeles. Um, I showed you one of their dresses in my video which was trying dresses from brands I've not tried before. They just have the most beautiful fabrics, really lovely, slightly bohemian styles, and this has got kind of like a watercolour peony pattern on it. I've added my favourite belt. Um, I have found something really similar to this on Amazon, so I'll leave that link down below. And then you've just got these most gorgeous ruffles. Uh, Footwear-wise, let's see what we want to wear. <laughs> I'm actually loving wearing these a lot more lately, with the little pearls in the heels. Perfect. Oh. Can you see me there? I can't actually see I can't actually see the screen. Um, but hopefully I'm in the shot. So we finally finished shooting for the day. Kat has just gone home. It was a <laughs> it was a challenge. It was a very challenging shoot day, but I think we managed to get some nice shots. Um, if you notice any pictures coming up on my Instagram anytime soon that you can tell that were shot today because it was super blusterous, leave I was going to say a wind emoji, but I feel like people use that for um, <laughs> trumping. <laughs> so don't leave the wind emoji. What can you do? You can leave the comment, Josie, this picture has blown me away <laughs> if you see any photos that were taken today. Um, I have a bar. Oh, you know what? I've been holding this cream egg, and after a shoot day, I just need sugar. And I need this cream egg right now. Tastes like the good old days. Made in Dublin. In Ireland. I really want to go and see River Dance. Mm. That was. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Can you imagine if I hadn't sped that up and I literally just shared two minutes of footage of me slowly eating a cream egg? That would have been that would have been the weirdest thing ever. But yeah, in here I have got um, some beauty products that arrived today that I'm just taking up to the dressing room, and I just checked the date on my phone, and it is the seventh today. Literally quickest video turnaround ever, and <clears throat> this is a pure coincidence, but. Today, my Buy Terry order has arrived with some of my favourites, and today is the last day that you can use Josie 20 for 20% off your order. So, I'll show you some of my favourites that I ordered. Um, first of all, this is limited edition. So they are bringing back the Beach Bomb palette this year. It's um, being recontinued. But if you're obsessed, and if, like me, you've run out of the brown one before any of the others, look at this, you're gonna love this. It is a single of each individual color 
in this just spectacular very substantial silver packaging look at that so this is sunny flash in its own packaging <gasps> I just love it. That's so like weighty and satisfying as well. So I think you'll be able to use my 20% off code for that. It comes with a little brush, but to be honest, I kind of wish they wouldn't do that because I don't know anyone that uses these brushes. Let me know if you do. Uh, what else? So I always like to add in a top up of the micellar water. Such a luxury using Vitary micellar water, but I absolutely love it. So making the most of the 20% off code for that. Um, and then the By Terry Terribly Donzely Concealer is a really lovely concealer. It's actually um, got skincare in there as well. So it's got anti-wrinkle formula. So it's fantastic and hydrating for underneath the eyes. Um, doe foot applicator, it doesn't crease with wear. So this is a perfect one for underneath the eyes. I have shade number four, which is medium peach. Highly recommend this as an under eye concealer. And then of course, my favorite product, well, one of my favorite products ever from By Terry, the Hyaluronic Hydra Balm in my everyday shade, which is number two. I literally use this. I have always got one of these in my handbag. I actually don't even know what I look like. I've not looked in the mirror since going outside and shooting the last little bits. Um, but yeah, these are just the balmiest, most most gorgeous hydrating lip balms and number two is just the most perfect pinky soft color so i love that so i definitely recommend adding those pieces to your order as well as the amazing new cream blush um, in sunny glow and rosy flash they are absolutely gorgeous especially if you love more of a cream consistency and of course the powder the hyaluronic hydra powder i also had a delivery from clinique um, a new limited edition packaging of their Moisture Surge Moisturizer. This is amazing for when you're flying. It's super duper hydrating. And also in here, we have got new and improved formula of the Living Proof Full Shampoo and Conditioner. I do love Living Proof. Their dry shampoo in particular is amazing. So I'll be giving this a try and I shall report back. So that's my beauty bundle. I did also get an H&M order through today and I placed a net -a porter order and loads of Amazon fashion bits. This video could actually become really long if I go through all of those bits with you, but I will show you the H&M stuff quickly um, and the net -a porter because that's very exciting. Here's me being a weird little creep again, <laughs> watching the gardeners. Oh my God, I swear he knows. He always looks up here. Maybe, yeah, he's definitely looking, do you see that? That's so funny. I did tell them that I sometimes spy on them from up here and they just laughed, so maybe he just glances up every now and then. But um, obviously it still looks pretty empty down there, but you can see the pergola. Look at my one little blossoming tree down there. The weather is just absolutely mad. What they're doing at the moment is they're putting down, I think it's called like a parkour. Um, so it's kind of like a gravelly pathway that's gonna go on the edge, you can see where they're working down on the side there. Um, that's just gonna be on the edge, and then they're gonna start laying the brick in the uh, middle section. But I think Charlie and I might do some planting this weekend. It's gonna look so amazing. Ah, give it time, darlings, give it time. But I'm just loving seeing how much progress is being made every single day at the moment. It's just, yeah, we're getting to the exciting bit. Hello, darlings, do I look exhausted? because I feel it. I've had a migraine the last couple of hours. So you're probably expecting, um, well, now you're expecting the vlog to end because you'll have seen how long the vlog is. But I was so um, optimistic as to how short this video is gonna be. I kept saying all along, I was, kept saying all along, it's gonna be such a short video. I've probably only filmed 12 minutes worth of footage. No, no, I've just sat here editing and we're at 57 minutes. Um, and I have spent the last couple of hours, well, hour, filming the H&M and the Netta Porter stuff that arrived because I thought this vlog needed padding out. It is not in need of any padding out. Um, so I'm actually gonna save those little try on clips for the next vlog. This vlog's already gonna be late as it is. Um, because I filmed those extra bits, I was super late at like editing. 
Um, it's half four now. My videos usually go out at five, but I've got to export it, which takes about an hour, and then upload the video. So firstly, I apologize that tonight's video has gone up late. If you still watched to the end tonight, then I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much for that. Um, I think I'll do a fashion video on Sunday, so you guys will probably see the H&M and Netta Porter bits on Tuesday. I'll put that into Tuesday's vlog. But as always, because my H&M... Um, because H&M stuff does sell out so quickly, I do have an edit, like an edit um, link for the bits that I have bought from this particular order. So I'll leave that link down below in case you would like to shop my picks and you don't want to wait until next Tuesday. So I'll leave that link down below for you darlings. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun.